So first you need to get some magazines. I'm going to be using these two Land's End magazines. A couple things to note when you decide on magazines, it really doesn't matter if they have the slippery pages or not, they'll still work. The most important thing is, in my case, I'm going to use two magazines to make one tree. So if you wanna have a fuller tree and you will need multiple magazines, make sure your magazines are the same size because if they're different heights, it won't look right. So we're gonna start with this magazine. And once you've got your magazine, you're gonna first want to crack it back the opposite direction of the fold on the spine. That's just gonna help all your other folds to go a little bit easier. So now it's time to start folding and we're gonna fold every page in this banner. First, we're gonna take the top right corner and bring it down along the side. And you'll wanna go to the top and make sure that your top looks nice and crisp and then crease going down that way. Then we're gonna take this edge and bring it to the binding. So fold it back another triangle. Again, just watch the tip up top. Then crease it. And you'll have this bit sticking at the bottom. Last of all, we'll fold it over the other way and tuck this bottom piece inside here. And just keep pushing it up, pushing it up, tuck it in there. And once it's tucked in there nicely, then you can crease that. And that's the trickiest part, honestly. The other two folds aren't too bad. But you'll end up with something like this. And then we're gonna keep repeating. So go to the next page, fold the top right corner down along this side, and crease. Then take this creased edge and fold it to the seam. And then crease that really well. And then fold it over and tuck it under. Once it's tucked under, crease that to get it to stay. And now your second one's folded. Now when you're making your folds, you wanna make sure that this edge doesn't extend beyond the seam because if it does, it's gonna make it harder to do the rest of our folds. So I personally like to leave just a slight little gap there. I find that it helps me get just nicer finished results. It makes my other folds easier. And again, when I do the second fold, I'd wanna make sure I'm not crossing over that center line. I wanna make sure I'm kind of going just right up to it, giving just a little bit of a gap so that way the page still has mobility to open and close into the Christmas tree. So as we keep doing these folds, we're creating all these triangles that will then stand upright like this. And once we do enough, we'll have a nice Christmas tree shape. If you're having a hard time with this bottom fold, what I like to do is to just feed the tip of my corner into there. And then I kind of do this little rolling motion where I'm just using my thumb to push and it's kind of folding along this bottom edge. I'm kind of just rolling it up in there until it's flush with the bottom of this triangle here and then crease it. So I've made it halfway through the magazine. As you will probably discover, the further you get, it gets a little trickier just because this wants to get in your way. So just make sure that you keep folding it out of the way as you go along. And again, what I like to do to make the folds a little easier is when I do this fold here, I don't go all the way into the crease. I leave a little bit of the gap. I make sure the tip has a nice point. So I'm at the top of my tree. We'll have a nice point but then I leave a little bit of a gap between here, increase it, and again when I do this fold, again making sure the tip looks really sharp and crisp, but then leaving a little bit of a gap there as I come down, and then fold it over, and again when I tuck this piece under, I like to push the tip under, have this corner lined up, and then just roll the rest of it inside the magazine page. Once it's in there, crease from this corner all the way down to the inside. And I'm gonna keep folding the rest of this magazine. So once you get done folding your magazine, you'll end up with something like this. Now if your magazine is thick enough, you can stand it up and make your tree out of a single magazine. So as you can see, if we turn this, we kind of have this blank section on the back. If you're putting this somewhere where you're not gonna see the backside of it, or you wanna put it flat against 
a wall or a surface, then one magazine will work great for making a tree, or if your magazine has more pages than mine, it might go all the way around and make a nice full Christmas tree. But personally, I like it to be really full, so I'm gonna make this be one half of my tree, and I'm gonna fold my other magazine into the other half of my tree. So I finished folding my second magazine, and basically what we would need to do is put the two magazines together. Personally, I think the easiest way to go is just a classic Elmer's glue stick. So I'm just gonna load up these pages with glue and those pages with glue and then glue them together. Just make sure that you press them firmly together. So I like to fold the trees kind of open and flat and then I can just press this way to make sure they bond together really well. You could also put like a heavy book on it at this point to just hold it down. So Elmer's glue sticks take about two to five minutes to dry, so I let it sit. And then the top might not be together super well, so I've got some Aline's Tacky Glue. I'm just gonna put a little bit up at the top here. And of course you could use Tacky Glue and not use the Elmer's glue stick at all. But at this point your tree is complete, you can leave it as is. I think it's really pretty when you just leave it as is. You see all the different colors from the magazines or you can paint it or glue little ornament type things on there. But this is a really fun project to recycle some old magazines and make some cheap and easy Christmas decorations. Another thing I want to show you with making these magazine trees is how you can get different sizes. So first off, however tall your magazine is this way, that's how tall your Christmas tree will end up. Then the wider your magazine is, the wider your tree will end up. So if you want to end up with a tree that has a narrower base, you can cut some of the edge off of your tree. So this one I want to make it shorter and I want to make it half the height of the magazine to make a nice little cute tree. But before you cut your magazine, you want to put some extra staples in it or else your pages will separate and it'll get really messy really quick. So I'm gonna put some staples in here and then we'll cut it in half. So I cut my magazine down and this will make a short little tree, but really important, if we start folding, ignore it's a little messy, that'll all be okay. But if we start folding, you know, we do our first fold inward into the triangle and then fold it in a second time. If we go to tuck this piece under, we've got way too much. So what you need to do is if you cut this way shorter, you need to also cut this end shorter. So now when we go to fold it, now that we've cut some of the length off, we can go fold, fold, and then we can fold this piece inside. And now we'll be able to make a little miniature tree. So while I'm finishing folding my mini tree, there's a couple things that I want to show you that might help you out. First of all, I want to clarify, when you cut a magazine to a shorter size and then you have to cut down the edge, you might be wondering, how much do I cut off the edge? This shape here needs to be either a square, meaning this length and this length are the exact same, or else the height needs to be taller than the width. Second thing I want to show you is another way to accomplish that last little fold where we tuck that triangle under. And this might help you if you're having a hard time getting that triangle piece tucked under. So the way I showed you to do this is you first fold the right corner down, crease it, and then fold this edge to the center, and crease it. And then I flip it over and tuck this edge under. So a couple things here. First of all, when you tuck it under, the goal is to get it underneath this piece, but I personally found that it still holds together pretty well even if you don't tuck it under there, meaning even if you were to just straight up fold it in like that. And the reason is because what holds it together and keeps it from unfolding is just the thickness of papers on either side. So if you get to this point and you're having a hard time feeding this bottom piece up inside our triangle, here's a really easy way to do it. So we've done our first two folds down, and then we're gonna fold that last fold back open and fold this tab open too. So they're on the right side. And then we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna fold it up and we're gonna look for the base of the fold and that's gonna be our one corner. We wanna fold this up in that corner and then to make sure it's even on the opposite side, we want to line up these two edges. So we're folding up the corner and then to figure out how much you need to angle it, line up the far edge with the straight edge of that fold and then crease it. Once you do that, you can take this whole thing and fold it under. And that accomplishes the same fold as tucking that little piece inside with. So that's another way you can get that piece folded if you're having a hard time getting that piece in there. Just make sure you do all your creases really well so that way your tree is nice and sturdy.
So here I have assembled several trees and this is what they turn out like. And of course I've got that red one off to the side that I decorated. You can decorate these however you want. I think they're so pretty just leaving them plain. But of course you can add your own touch by decorating them. So just to give you some inspiration on how to decorate them, if you want to paint them the easiest way is to use spray paint just because it gets in between all the pages and fills it in really nicely. So the big one I made in the video, I spray painted it red. And then to add some other touches, I went ahead and had some just little seed beads that I strung onto a piece of thread and I used that to make a little garland. I tied it at the top, wrapped it around my tree, and then to fasten it at the bottom, I just taped it in between some of the pages so you don't even see the end where I taped it. So then I made some stars out of paper. I will link the video tutorial that I followed. It's just these really cute 3D origami stars. Super simple to make, but I'll link a video to that. I found a really great tutorial on that. And then I just glued the stars on there. You could of course use tacky glue to stick them on there or use something like a hot glue. But I think these trees are so pretty and they're super simple to make. They do take a really long time. For me, it takes me probably 40 minutes all in to fold two magazines into one tree. So I like to put on a Christmas movie or put on some Christmas music and while I watch or listen, I fold the tree. But I hope y'all enjoyed this project. Make sure you come back next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. All throughout the month of November and into December, I am going to be bringing you lots of really fun Christmas decorating and DIY and even gift ideas. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to turn on notifications so you know when I post even more Christmas videos. Thanks so much for watching. Happy crafting!